this is my fridge and today I'm going to show you what's in it and we actually went grocery shopping today so there's a lot of stuff so here's the outside I just have some magnets you know invitations to things school stuff so here is the inside of my fridge um, I'm just showing you guys an overview, but I will show you every shelf in detail in a little bit. But here is the side of my refrigerator. I basically just have um, all my sauces and condiments there. So starting here, I have my cooking stocks. So that one's chicken and that one's a veggie one. Then I keep my pasta sauce in here and also my Worcester sauce. And here is just a tortilla that is left behind because we used other ones. So then we also have our mayos right next to it. We like to keep them higher in the fridge. And then right there I have some extra ketchup, extra syrup. Um, that is some seasoning I like to use when I cook. And then right beside it I have my dressings and my barbecue sauce and things like that. Right below it I have some extra food so I have some extra juices and tortillas <laughs> because I love tortillas. And I also have some green bell peppers. And right beside it, I have some jam and some olives. In the top right corner of my fridge, I just keep some Parmesan cheese, some ricotta cheese, and also a gallon of milk. I also like to keep my juices in there. So my strawberry lemonade juice, and then my vitamin water. And then I also keep my Welch's juice there. And then right beside that on the next shelf, I just keep my veggies and I keep my fruits. So I have some ginger and then I have some watermelon right there. And I also have my spring mix and my tomatoes. And under this shelf, I just have my dairy bin. So this is for the smaller dairy items. So I keep things like sharp cheddar sticks in there. And then I keep like my um, shredded cheese and also some deli meat. So right now we just got turkey breast because we don't really use that much deli meat. And then we have our cream cheese, our cheese slices, stuff like yogurt, just things that are dairy products. We like to keep them together. Right below, we just have our eggs and we have each dozen separated into three sections. So this shelf, I like to call it our juice shelf. So right now we just have our pineapple kale, coconut water, and I really love those. It's so refreshing. And then next to it, we have our little orange Minute Maid juices. Um, we also have some ruby red grapefruit and fruit melly Tropicana ones. So on the bottom shelf, we like to keep our leftovers just so they stay cold and fresh for as long as possible. And we also keep our butter there. And then right beside it, we have our little dessert section. So right now we just have this Tres Leches cake, which I can't wait to try out. And then we also like to keep our chocolate in the fridge just so it stays cold. And we just have these lint hazelnut chocolate bars that we bought. So in this bin, we like to keep our veggies. We have some celery, some iceberg lettuce, some carrots in the bottom. We also have an eggplant, which I have no idea how to cook and make yummy food with. So I guess my mom will have to cook something with that. In this bin, you will find some misplaced cilantro and you'll also find a bunch of water bottles because I like drinking very cold water. So I keep it at the bottom bin. And then it's easy to see for everyone and they don't have to scavenge around and it's just easier access. So that was everything in my fridge from top to bottom. And now I would like to show you guys my freezer really quickly. So the freezer in my house at least is the most unorganized place ever. So we just like to keep um, meats and things like that and also like frozen goodies. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys these real quick. These are basically brownie bites, and I'm so excited to try them. They just seem so delicious, and I had to share it with you guys. Uh, I will leave in the description if I've tried them by then, if they're good or if they're not good. So with this video, I would like to announce that I will be posting my fall videos soon, and I hope you guys watch those too.